Hey there people, it's Dan Phoenix. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I managed to last for a total of six years on a vegan diet before quitting, which I ended up getting off of that malnourishing, unsustainable vegan diet in late of last year because it ended up destroying my health holistically. If you wanna know about all the ins and outs about that, I'll talk about that more in another video that I made before that I put a link for up above. So the reason why I'm talking about this is when I ended up quitting the vegan diet, so many people that had, had their health destroyed on a vegan diet, they started watching my videos videos talking about me having my health destroyed on a vegan diet me regaining it by eating high quality animal foods in my diet on a regular basis kept asking me time and time again how did you last for six years I only managed to last for a year or two years or even three years and yeah I wanted to answer that question that many people have asked me time and time again this video should have been made a long time ago but oh well it's just being made now so first off once i got on a vegan diet i just became so passionate about nutrition and diet and health holistically and things for detoxification so when i got on a vegan diet I was feeling pretty damn good at first because I removed all of the other crap from my diet that was affecting me in a negative way. But yes, as with most vegans, once they switched to a vegan diet, they said, oh, well, the reason why I feel so amazing and don't have any negative health issues or symptoms going on anymore is because I've removed all of the different animal products. But that was not true whatsoever, which I have learned since getting off of a vegan diet. So on the whole journey of this diet, yes, I was feeling good. But then along the whole six year journey, there was ups and downs and ups and downs it was never like I was feeling amazing all of the time consistently there were certain times where I ended up with parasite issues and then candida overgrowth issues and then I ended up just trying so many different things to resolve every single different issue that was induced within me so when I ended up with a candida overgrowth I worked out certain things that I could take for detoxification that got the candida overgrowth under control then I took certain things to resolve parasite issues so every time I would do these and resolve the issues with these things going on I would start to feel absolutely amazing which I thought was actually thriving but as I mentioned in another video I was never truly thriving on a vegan diet to talk about that more in another video but I'll talk about it in short in this video but if you want to learn more click that video up above is that at certain times I thought I was thriving now comparing it to where I have a relative viewpoint of eating high quality animal foods I was actually never truly thriving on a vegan diet. There were so many times that I felt really good, but where I'm at now is the best that I've ever felt in my whole entire life off of a vegan diet. So then there would be certain things happen. So I ended up having like hyperglycemia. So I started having really, really low blood sugar levels. Every time I would eat these high carbohydrate, vegan plant-based meals, my blood sugar levels would drop and I would feel dizzy. I couldn't see properly. I couldn't function normally. It was just really not good at all. So then I found out I had a chromium deficiency, which is an essential mineral that regulates blood sugar levels and insulin production. So then taking that, it resolved the issue. So I started feeling good. But then I ran into an iodine deficiency. Then I ran into a selenium deficiency. The amount of deficiencies that kept happening left right and center was just absolutely crazy and i started calling myself a supplementarian and there was certain people like three ridge which is a raw carnivore that was making videos on me at the time actually showing me having these million different supplements so i was using these as a band-aid on the vegan diet because the vegan diet wasn't giving me all the nutrients that i need even though i was eating a variety of raw foods and plant-based cooked foods in an absolute abundance but yeah, I'd then take this supplement, that would correct it, then I'd take this supplement, that and that and that. And I was spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars, if not thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on different supplements. But at the end of the day, if you're having to take so many different supplements on a diet because you're running so many nutritional deficiencies, it shows that it's really not a healthy, sustainable diet that is ideal for humans in any way, shape or form. And I have interviewed quite a few different ex-vegans on my channel that you can search up where they talk about the whole story of the vegan diet messing them up. And quite a few of them that got to appointment nutritional deficiencies said, well, if this diet isn't working for me, I need to take a supplement to give me all of the nutrients that I need to thrive on this diet, then it's not the most optimal human diet. So they were very, very clever and quit a lot earlier than I did. But because I was so brainwashed on that vegan diet, thinking it was the best for my health, for the planet, and was the most ethical diet, 
diet, which I've learned is not true whatsoever. I'll be making a video talking about that in full detail. I've learned a lot of scientific information on the environmental aspects and the health aspects of why actually a vegan diet is not the best for the planet and the environment and our health as well. So stay tuned for that video coming soon. If you want to be notified when that comes, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell button next to it to be notified of when that video is coming. So yeah. I would correct a nutritional deficiency and then start feeling really good again. And then I'd be like, oh my God, now this symptom's been induced in me and this one, okay, we'll work out what deficiency that's causing. And I just became a very a good expert on nutritional supplementation. I think it is very, very good at certain times for certain people to take certain supplements. If you're chronically B12 deficient, for a long period of time, it can cause irreversible neurological and nerve damage. So there is a time and place for it, but to be taking so many different things because the diet isn't giving you what you need, it's just like, man, yeah, it's just not a good idea to stay on it What? So ever. So yeah, all these different band-aids and then I would try switching up, like trying to be raw vegan and then I would start doing intermittent fasting because I found once I started actually consuming less meals and doing intermittent fasting, a lot of my digestive issues and other issues started to diminish. But then it got to a point where after a while, the intermittent fasting just wasn't getting me to a point where I could just feel amazing all the time. It worked for a while, but again, it was just another band-aid. I'm still pro intermittent fasting. It is absolutely amazing. It works wonders for so many people with blood sugar issues and to give weight loss benefits and many other amazing benefits as well. But yeah, it was just like relentless. And this is how I got myself to survive, not thrive on a vegan diet. But it was just a never ending vicious cycle. And looking back on it, it was inevitable that I was gonna to get to the point where all of these band-aids are just not going to work whatsoever as I kept finding, but there would just be no solution for me to feel as best as I could and function as best as I could mentally and physically, holistically, that I got to the point of late last year where literally I got to the worst place with my health on a vegan diet. I just hit rock bottom like massively. For three months, I just could not even function in my everyday life. I could do pretty much nothing and just lay around consistently. And every time I would eat vegan food, I would get instant gas and bloating. My bowel movements were so bad and smelly. It was just like, man, yeah, it was just really, really bad. And I tried doing many different things again, learning about new other things to try out, trying things that I used to do, and it just wasn't getting me anywhere. And then I started to naturally crave eggs like crazy. So then this started to spark my interest. I was like, hmm. I don't necessarily see eggs as a bad thing. Yes, I don't think they're the most ethical food to eat at that time, at least. And yeah, I tried eating them. And for the first time I was like, oh, I had this really weird experience. It freaked me out. And I was like, I can't eat eggs, even though I did try to eat them. It was just like, no, it put me off. If you want to see that video, I'll put a link for it above. But then I was still feeling not good for about a week after trying that experiment and being freaked out by trying to eat the eggs. And then even after that bad experience, I just kept thinking about them about a week afterwards. And I still wasn't feeling good whatsoever. And I was just like, yeah, okay, I can get this vegan diet to work. I will make it work. I was just so driven to make it work, but yeah, it just wasn't again. So my girlfriend then made me some gluten-free pancakes with some pasteurized eggs within it. And from that first meal that I fully consumed with animal foods in, I felt significant improvements in the way that I was feeling. So I was like, hmm, there's obviously something to this. So then I started trying all different types of animal foods like beef and chicken and yeah, so many different animal foods and got so many significant benefits, which then led me on to doing the carnival diet 30 days. If you want to know about my whole experience with that and all the benefits I got, I put a link for the video up above. And yeah, back onto how I managed to survive on the vegan diet for six years. A lot of it was also to do with, I was just a very, very dedicated vegan. I was a die hard vegan. That was just so brainwashed with so much vegan dogma and their ideologies that I'd heard from vegan scientists and vegan doctors and vegan YouTubers and other vegan social media influencers. And I'd just been indoctrinated like absolute crazy. I had the vegan goggles on and I couldn't see out of it. And for me personally, I just truly believed if there was an issue on a vegan diet, you could resolve it with this supplement or this supplement or this thing or that thing or that thing, which could be true for a lot of people. But even if you can do it for 10 to 20 years, does it mean that you're absolutely thriving? You may be thinking you feel good because I get a lot of vegans saying, I've been eating this way for so many years, I feel amazing. And I thought that I did so many times on my vegan journey. But once I switched to the diet of a carnival diet and my diet now, which are not carnival diets, 
100% whatsoever. I actually consume things such as white rice and potatoes and some other plant-based carb sources and it works for me. But yeah, I didn't get that relative viewpoint, which, okay, I have come off of a crappy diet, gone on a vegan diet. I think that it's making me feel a lot better than that diet, which it was in many different ways for sure. But it's also all the other lifestyle factors that I changed as well, like my job, the relationship that was, in, that was toxic, all of the unhealthy other things that I was doing in my life and just so many different changes that I made within my life, even though I kept saying it's due to the vegan diet. But I never had the experience of going on an animal food diet, excluding all plant foods and eating only pasteurized animal food sources that are antibiotic free, hormone free, where they're actually fed a diet that is designed for them. They're not factory farmed and given loads of soy and corn and grains and foods that they're not designed for that can really have a negative effect on their health and make them more of a sick animal. And then when you're eating sick animals, it's not necessarily gonna make you feel the best. Some people disagree with that, but yeah, I'm definitely anti-factory farming and pro pasture raised animal food sources. But now I do have that relative viewpoint and it's like, it's night and day. Yes, there was times I felt good on a vegan diet, but it was up and down, like I said, but on this diet, I am pretty much consistently feeling good all of the time. And I'm thriving in a way that I never knew that I could get to because I started getting so many benefits from switching back to high quality animal foods. Well, not back to, because I've never eaten high quality animal foods in my life, where I just got so many benefits from making the switch that I never even knew that I could get, which I've talked about in many different videos before. So yeah. What is your experience with this if you're vegan? How did you get yourself to last for many, many years on a vegan diet if you managed to eat it for many, many years? Let us know down below. And last thing that I mentioned is it's so good to be on a diet where I'm getting all of my nutritional needs through my food sources alone. And I don't need to be buying hundreds of different supplements all the time so I become a full on supplementarian. Eating in a way that I am designed for and that is meat and other animal foods because if you look into information on the internet you'll find we've been eating meat for around two million years it has been part of our human evolution and guess what there's no vegan civilization out there ever in existence hmm guess why because it is not a diet that we are designed for a hundred percent plant-based diet not whatsoever even though the vegan and plant-based preachers out there would try and get you to believe otherwise so yeah leave your comments and questions down below as always don't forget to like share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so as always stay fit stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your day peace